Oh, thanks. Mic on? Thanks, James. You know, revenge. I thought that would never happen, but oh well. Um, first off, I'd like to thank Tess and Kristen for putting this on. We get a chance to thank them. They can thank themselves. Without them, this would never have happened, so I'd like to give a round of applause for them. Um, this is also good. Last night, I was updating my laptop stupidly. Um, but it works. Uh, latest X drivers, Jesse, where's Jesse? You fixed my bug. Thank you. I got dual monitors working, this thing. Um, I updated to latest X dot or, or open office. I got presentation mode. Where's Michael? I'm, I'm pointing these people out for when it crashes, we know who to blame. <laughs> okay, so I'm talking about the Linux ecosystem. Please tackle, ask questions during this. It isn't fun otherwise. Um, which actually gets back to a point I'd like to bring up. A few months ago, I've been giving this talk about kernel statistics all the time. I gave a talk at Google about kernel statistics, who's doing what, where's it going. And somebody made the offhand comment about Canonical, how many patches they contributed. And I said, ah, they have five or six patches. And I didn't think anything of it, but it was videotaped. And Ben, Ben Collins here? Oh, Ben. He's not here. So um, he called me on that, said, oh, that was wrong. And um, I was wrong. I was, they did not do five or six patches, so I'd like to publicly apologize. They did not do five or six patches in all of canonical's history. They have done 100 patches. So this is my apology. I'm sorry. You, I was wrong. So, any other canonical employees here? This is going to be a long hour. What's a couple orders of magnitude? Yeah, so since they called out and they wanted to explicitly me publicize what they have done, let's look at it. Okay? So. <laughs> Wait a second. So I'm not going to go into the new dual patches. I'm going to have fun with numbers. This is all, this is the past three years, 2615 to 2627 RC6. All my numbers are, all these statistics are going to be for the past three years. So let's look at this. Past three years, Linux kernel development, 99,000 patches, three years. Okay? Bad. So, canonical, 100 patches, 99,000. What does that come out to be? 0.1%. <laughs> That's not very good. <laughs> but there's lots of companies out there, right? Maybe 100 patches is big for a company, right? They're actually 79th as far as all companies that contribute to the kernel, which is good. But they're below such Linux supporters like NVIDIA. Actually, more patches <laughs> than Canonical. <laughs> so take those 100 patches, and um, if you were to count those 100 patches at a whole unique individual, right? Look on the individual contributors. comes out there 195th. Or 90, yeah, 195th. That's not very good. A whole company is 195th as an individual. But they're not individuals, or they are unique individuals, and here's how they individually. They had 10 contr contributions, 10 people. You can read the numbers. So why Canonical? Why am I picking on Canonical? Well, some of you know why. Um, let's look at all distros. Maybe as far as Linux distros go, they're not that bad, right? So look at all the numbers past three years for Linux distributions. Here they are. Red Hat, number one, or two, overall. The numbers are overall ranking among all companies. Red Hat, Novell, Monta Vista. All right. That was good. Mandriva, okay, I'm not picking anybody. Mandriva, who has less people than Canonical, no money. Mandriva, awesome. Where's Acme? Is Acme here? That's a good job. Wind River, even. Wind River, whose CEO says Linux is the devil, you know? <laughs> it's not their main thing. They hate Linux. Wind River, better. Our path, embedded Linux distro, you know? And then last is Canonical. Gen oh, where is Gen 2? Let's look. Gen 2. <laughs> these are people who only contributed with the Gen 2 email address. You know, non, these are people doing the work on their own time, getting paid by nobody, really good Linux distro, runs E-Trade, the whole company, Gen 2's and all, runs, um, what else is it? MySpace, e Gen 2, scary. <laughs> Actually, Gen 2 does some neat things. Okay, but what about Debian, you know? Ubuntu is based on Debian. Now, Debian was hard to figure out because people don't contribute for Debian email addresses. So I know I got this number wrong, and I know I'm undercounting this, and I apologize in advance to all the Debian people. 
I think they can't make up to Monta Vista. Uh, maybe add a couple hundred more. Debian guys, you guys are doing good. I congratulate you. Thank you for all of us picking on you for all these years. So, canonical on the sand. <laughs> so, that's how that goes. Pardon me? You thought it was on the slide. Oh, who's number one? Number one contributor to Linux kernel are individuals. They are people who don't work for anybody. Number three are people who work for people who don't want to be told who they work for, or they don't, we don't know who they work for. So that's all the numbers. I have all the numbers are in the talk on Google, you know. 